Two minute maths. Short division, no regrouping. Learning intention, you will be able to solve short division problems that don't require regrouping. You need to know how many times one number will go into another and that we work left to right, unlike uh, other standard algorithms such as addition, subtraction and multiplication. You don't need to know that the numbers in a division sum are called the dividend, the divisor and the quotient. In terms of the dividend divided by the divisor equals the quotient. You don't need to know that but you might like to know what the words are. Here's a sum that won't require regrouping. So it would read as 3 into 6,393. In short division, the divisor and the dividend are placed together in a tableau, using this line, and the quotient or the answer will go above the line. So um, remember we need to work from left to right, which means that I, I consider the digit on the left and then work that way. So I need to work out how many times 3 goes into 6, which is 12. Uh, I move right and I'm considering how many times 3 goes into 3 this is once, how many times 3 goes into 9 3 times, how many times 3 goes into 3 which is once. Here's another example so again my divisor is 2, my dividend is 8246 I would read this as 2 into 8246 I need to start with the 8 in the thousands column how many times does 2 go into 8 4 times. How many times does 2 go into 2? Once. How many times does 2 go into 4? Twice. How many times does 2 go into 6? 3. The answer is 4,123. Once you understand how the method works, it's reasonably easy. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 doesn't go into 0, so I would hold place with a 0 above the line. 4 goes into 8 twice. And 4 goes into 4 once. The answer is 1021. Key point, don't forget to hold place with 0 above the line. For example, in this sum, 4 into 4168. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 does not go into 1. So we have to hold place above the line with a 0. Now, where a lot of students go wrong is that they then will go straight to 4 into 6. But you need to consider the 1 and 6 together because we haven't actually dealt with the 1 yet. So 4 goes into 16 4 times and 4 goes into 8 twice.